What's up guys and welcome to the video. My name is Mitch and I'm part of the content creation team here at Clean Canvas and in today's video I'm going to hopefully walk you through how to create some anchor links on your pages. Uh, you can use um, pretty much a product page, blog page, uh, normal pages, this will cover all of those. Now I want you to keep in mind that this isn't a straightforward process and even took me a little while to get my head wrapped around it because it does involve trying to put some code into the HTML of the page you're on. Now I'm going to try and walk you through as simple as possible with including the information you need. So hopefully you can get your head wrapped around this a bit quicker than it took me to do. But by the end of it, you will be able to have links on your page that when they are clicked, it will drag you down to a, a certain section of that page. I will also show you that you can copy that exact link, share it with someone, and when they click on that link uh, outside of wherever they are, it's gonna bring them not only to that page, but it's gonna also bring them to that part of the page, which I think is really great. And I'm kind of shocked that Shopify haven't gotten around to doing like a much easier, I've seen websites with this built in, and it's uh, really a great function. It will hopefully be added and then this video will actually be useless, unfortunately, but hopefully I'll be able to help you guys a little bit along the way. So like I said guys, it's gonna, it took me a while to get my head around it. I'm gonna do my very best to get like you guys through it. So I'm gonna set it up as best as possible and let's just get into it. All right guys, so I'm just on a an example page I created just to show you it working first and then I'll go into how everything else works or how to set it up. So here I have added a text and then I've added a link that when I click on it, it's gonna pull me down the page. It's pulled me down to here. And notice as well, the URL here changes and this is gonna be important as well. So if I click here, it changes to go down, down because I've added an anchor link here and the anchor link is go down, down. Now don't get confused about the reason why I'm using go down, down as an example. You can put any text you want and I'll show you what I mean. But I've also added a link here and when I click on it, it's brought me back up to the top of the page. It doesn't look like it, but if I scroll, you'll see. I just want to kind of give you an indication that it does jump wherever you want it to be. So. Let's get into how all of this magic works. So let's say uh, I am here on one of my blog pages and I want it that when I click on this, this text at the top, it's going to be a link that's going to drag me down to where this text is. So in order to do that, I need to go into the HTML and add an anchor. And it's just a small bit of code. Um, so if I click on show HTML, now, actually, one thing I'll, I'll, I'll definitely advise this. If you're going editing page, a really long text page, okay? What I suggest to do is on this view first, if you know what text you want it to jump to, copy it. Because when you do, click show HTML. This looks kind of scary to me. This nearly put me off doing this video because I thought maybe it's actually a lot more difficult. And it is pretty, it's not an easy step for a straightforward process, but no one has any videos on it. So I said I'd do my best to explain it. So when I go to this view, if I click control F and I type in, or I just paste in what I'm looking for, it's bringing me exactly to where it is in this HTML, which is great because you just need to be here on this line. So what do I need to add here? So where it is in H2, um, I want to put that anchor link code. I'm gonna go over here to this page to grab the link I need, exactly. So just bear me for a moment. Don't mind that. Here we go. So H2, I'm gonna put a space, I'm gonna paste in my bit of code. So the code is ID equals, and then um, comma, and then it's going to be the text, whatever text I want. So I have go down as an example, but I am going to put in for now, test uh, dash test. And you have to, if you're going to put in two words and not have them together, put in a dash. It has to be a dash. So ID equals um, test dash test. And then that's it. The bracket is still there. Basically, all I did was I'm just going to copy this and delete it. This is how it was. I put in a space and I paste in my code like that. And that's how it's gonna be. So now if I uncheck that, 
if I go back to normal view, so exit uh, HTML, so nothing has changed yet, but the only other thing now we need to do is we need to put in our link here, and it's very simple. This is an easy part. Go down here and copy this link down here. This is going to be the web page that this page is going to be part of. So if I highlight all of this and click insert link in here, I'm going to insert the link. And this part is crucial. Put a hashtag test dash test. What's that telling me now? Or what's that telling the website? The website is saying when this link is clicked, this web page needs to look for test dash test in the HTML and drag the user to it. So let's see what happens. I click insert link. I click save up here. And now, unfortunately, Shopify doesn't have a preview option for blogs. And I will say, guys, this really should be a feature inside Shopify. You shouldn't need to go to this extent to insert anchor links. I've seen other websites have it. It's unfortunate it's not there at the moment. Hopefully this video will become obsolete and they will add it. It'd be really crappy if they post it in the day after I post this, but anyhow. So here, if I hover over the text, it is a link because I can see the blue line and my cursor is changing. So if I click on it, boom, it's bringing me down to where does it come from? So that is how you create an anchor link. Um, if you wanted to do it the opposite way around, like say go to the top, you just follow the same method. The only thing that might be a bit tricky guys is you might want to like, you're going to like maybe go into HTML mode. And this kind of was a bit off putting for me at first because I thought maybe just putting in like ID by itself but it really needs to be in like kind of something. It needs to be attached to something. So it needs to be attached to, for me here, like H2 or for like normal text, like you'll see this P, um, you'll need to put the ID inside the P just like this. So if I did the same thing here, if I copy the ID, um, and actually if I copy and delete it from here, sorry, now I'm messing up a little bit, bear with me. So if I delete, and just put that back to normal like h2 and then go in here and put a space and paste in that id and i'll like i will uh, leave this id in the in in the description below so you can just copy it as well but yeah here so i put a p just make sure to put the space because it needs to if it's together it won't work so i just done the same thing so equals test dash test and then whatever else is fine so that's just going to do the same thing. It's just going to pull me down to the uh, text part. So it's just going to pull me down to contrary. At least it should. So if I refresh and I click lorem ipsum, see, it can pull me down to contrary. You can even use this as a way. Some people like don't like how it just pulls you exactly to the word. So what you could do is um, like I kind of did over here on this example. Um, well, I'll, well, I'll show you what I mean. Um, so if I uncheck here, uh, I can put my anchor link above here. So if I click this, see, uh, it's put in the PP here. This is cause it's a space. You could just go here and put the anchor link here. So it'll go a bit above the text when it's clicked. So uh, let me just see, can I do this quickly? Yeah, yeah, so if I just copy this, or remove it from there, and instead put it in here, make sure there's a space, yes, Mitch? So you'll see, uh, um, like normally when it's clicked uh, here, so if I click this link, it's like barely brings me to the top. But now, if I ref uh, since I've saved, if I refresh, and I go all the way down to the bottom. And now if I click this link, see it's got the space there. So you could use that as a trick to get around that um, by using, uh, instead of it pulling exactly to the title, uh, like the H2, which is the heading, it could pull to the, the P, the paragraph. Um, and that can just give you that little extra space. So, hey guys, one thing I just need to re-record before posting that I mentioned I would share with you. Um, the really cool thing about these links when you have them working, you can share them and what they'll do is they will, 
if I uh, send this to someone and they click on that link, it's not just going to bring them to the web page, it's going to bring them directly to where you want them to go. And this is really good and I'll give you a great example of this for me when I'm working in support. Um, let's say I have uh, an article I want to share with someone, but there's really only one part of the article that I really want them to focus on. If there's an anchor link to that, um, I can right click on the article link and then when I share that with someone, that's going to be what they see. So that's going to bring them directly to the web page to there I want them to see. So I said I would mention that, um, but I'll get back to the end of the video. Guys, it's not an easy and straightforward one. I hope I did the best I was able to kind of uh, explain it. It's going to take maybe a little bit to get your head around. It did for me. Like I said, I wasn't even sure about doing this video because I didn't feel like it was, I was going to be able to justify making it. But for people out there that really want anchor links, hopefully this helps and answers your questions and gets it to work in the way you want. Hopefully Shopify adds it in so we don't have to go like basically I've seen websites where you can just click on link and it'll just give you that option like uh, it'll allow you to link to a heading like what I'm what do I mean by heading like just say formatting heading one two or three allows you to link to a direct heading just by clicking on that so hopefully Shopify add that but guys I hope I was able to help you and thanks very much for watching uh, consider subscribing we'll be putting out more content and then uh, hopefully next week, we were very busy over Black Friday, so we did fall off with the content on the weekly down low. But we're going to be a lot more time on our hands now. I'm going to be focusing more on creating content each week. So hopefully this will be a, like I said guys, probably the trickiest video I've had to do. Um, but I've, I feel better about doing it because this is something that I wanted in my website. So hopefully you can get it now in your website. Thanks guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Like, subscribe. Check you out in the next one.